Well, if you remember anything about the New Mexico game last year, no lightning delays here on Saturday, but plenty of fireworks in the skies as the offense nearly perfect for this Texas Tech football team. 702 yards of total offense. Seth Dagey nearly perfect as well. 340 yards, six touchdowns, five of which in the first half. But I'll tell you what, Seth Dagey threw a rope. That was a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's just a tribute to the entire offense. I think, you know, like I said, the offensive line did a really good job protecting and, you know, the receivers ran really good routes and made, made plays on the ball. Um, so overall, we executed very well. I thought. Hell of a job, baby. Really proud of how he's played. He's, uh, he's matured. He's thrown some good balls. He's, uh, he's uh, a guy that's taken charge of the, the offense. He's a tremendous leader. Players respect him, and that's the main thing. They understand he can score points. I mean, the way he played, we're just following his lead. So, of course, when your quarterback is doing good, then that makes, makes it easier for everyone else to follow his lead and do good as well. So, I mean, I'm proud of him. I mean, I, I know he's capable of doing way better, and I know it's going to get better as the season prolongs. So. He couldn't have been much better. You know, if you look at the offense, we've only punted two times in three games. But we know things are going to get tougher for both offense and defense. I'm proud of you. Off to a great start. We just now starting up. So the Red Raiders hit the bye week at the perfect time, clicking on all cylinders. The offense averaging 569 yards a game. Not to be outdone, though, the defense holding opponents so far this season to just 181 yards a game. We are at Jones AT&T Stadium. For TexasTech.com, I'm Brandon Rowey.